Hello guys and gals and welcome to this tutorial on file encryption. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, TrueCrypt to uh, protect a file called uh, my freedom. Okay, so I want to protect my freedom from unauthorized access. For this I'm going to be using TrueCrypt. It's an open source free program that runs on Linux, Windows and Macintosh. Uh, very very simple and easy to use tool. Uh, once you've installed it and you start it up, you want to create a volume. Now you have three options here. You can create an encrypted file container, basically an encrypted folder. You can encrypt a USB flash drive or external hard drive or you can uh, encrypt a system partition or entire system drive so basically a whole hard drive uh, that you're using uh, I'm just going to use a encrypted file container or create an encrypted file container I'm going to have a standard TrueCrypt volume um, here I'm going to create my file for protected uh, on my desktop I'm going to save that uh, click never save history next uh, here you can choose your algorithm I'm gonna go for AES which is a 256 bit algorithm and for the hash algorithm I'm gonna use SHA 512 I'm gonna test this auto test all if it passes I'm gonna close and next and here I'm gonna choose the volume size um, my freedom is too big so I think 5 megabytes should be enough. Uh, next that, and then here you want to add a password to your uh, TrueCrypt volume. Um, for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to be using 123. Obviously you want a much uh, stronger password. About uh, 16 uh, characters long, uh, capital letters, small letters, numbers and symbols all mixed up. Next that, if it's too short, it's going to tell you it's an easy to it's easy to crack using brute force techniques. Uh, we're just going to allow it for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, for the file system, as I'm on Windows XP, I'm going to use NTFS and the cluster size you can just leave as default. Um, what you want to do then is format. This will create your protected file. OK and exit. Now to protect my freedom, I want to uh, open up uh, the protected volume that I just created, which I created on my desktop, open that, then I want to select a drive to mount it to, and then click mount, I type in my password and OK that. Now if I close up TrueCrypt and open up my computer, you can see that I now have uh, a G local disk, which is my uh, TrueCrypt file or uh, volume. I'm going to add my freedom to the protected, so I'm going to protect my freedom. Um, then if I unmount protected, it will no longer show up in my computer. So my freedom is now protected inside this TrueCrypt file. If I want to uh, access my freedom, uh, all I have to do is select the protected folder again. I mount it to a drive, I add in my password, I click OK. I go into my computer, open it up, and then from here I can access my freedom again. So as you can see, very very simple program, uh, works flawlessly and you can protect your freedom with it or your pictures or whatever you want. Uh, also remember to protect our internet and uh, say no to SOPA in the United States and ACTA in Europe. Uh, keep the internet free. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, comment and if you have any requests uh, don't hesitate to ask me and I'll do them for you as soon as I can. Uh, take care, guys.